what's up? I don't even know what my name is anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to change it back to like something, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Anyways, it's been a while. I haven't died. I've just been slacking. But uh, today I'm going to teach you how to um, use the system commands in C++. What that does is it lets you run a command through the system. So in Linux that would be terminal, in Windows that'd be CMD. I think there's a library that lets you run stuff through PowerShell in Windows, but we're not talking about that right now. Um, so yeah, hold on. Let's go ahead and let's uh, move to my desktop where I have both the programs saved. I wrote earlier before I made this video. So first let's nano uh, y, y21.cpp. So you don't need all these um, you really don't need <laughs> you don't need this or this. You can just delete both of those. Um, I always use a I stream. I might not even need it, but I use it anyways. But um, the library that system comes in is CSTD lib. So you use that. Um, basically what it does is you put the command you want to run in parentheses. So echo hello world and it will echo hello world in the um, the what's it called? Terminal. Um, there's a way to silence the output, which I might add into um, the video later, but right now we're just going to run this command. I'm just going to run this script, I mean not script program, and see what happens. So see all it did was um, read hello world. Now we're going to nano YouTube 2, which I wrote. And in this one you do need every single one of these. You need IO stream, you need CSTD lib, and you need string. So we're going to be using namespace std, which is pretty much the, the norm now. Int main string name. You want to declare the name. You want to declare the string name. It's not character, it's string. Okay. Um, then you want to write stdc out, which is which we covered in an earlier video. That's just print something. Hello, this program will print your name. What is your name? You always want to add um, the parentheses in space. And then the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Quotations. Then std sin, um, which is user input, you use um, greater than symbols instead of less than name, which will ask for your uh, name. Then um, semicolon to stop. Then you want to use system, and you won't need an indel because std c out and system are two different things. So um, one is not, they're not a part of IO stream, so they won't be printed on the same line. Um, it's going to say, you want to do, I know it can, it looks complicated, but it's not that complicated. All, all you need to do, two open parentheses, echo your name is, so echo, echoes what you write after that. Space, plus, you don't use um, greater than or, or less than symbols in this one because it is not a part of IO stream. Name, which is what we just declared right here. Close parentheses. Now this is the hard part. Well, it looks difficult, but it's easy. Dot C underscore str, which is C string. Um, semicolon open, semicolon close, semicolon close again, space. Um, semicolon return zero, and then there's that. So now let's just go ahead and run this. I'm gonna say my name is is Jonathan. No, just John. Your name is John. It's simple. Now, if you haven't realized yet, this is the um, this is the beginning of your virus. If you ever want to start writing viruses, you're going to need to know this. Like you almost have to. And um, yeah, so here uh, I will go to another. I think the yeah. All right. I will. Thanks for watching. Uh, I might actually add another part of this right now. I might go record it. But for now, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, if I don't add another part, then I didn't. But I should. All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I decided to show you how to uh, make it to where the operator of the program doesn't get to see what the command you just executed. So you're, you know, if you're writing like a spyware type virus, you're not going to want your the person that um. I just executed the program to see which command you just executed or say you're a more ethical person you don't want someone to copy your program 
they can't see exactly what command you just executed. It should be pretty easy to figure out, but like, you know, who knows. So, I made a new file here. Um, let's nano it. Uh, y23.cpp. Um, so, in here you gotta include. I included everything I normally include. I probably don't need to include IO stream or string. Um, actually, I might need to include IO string, but I don't think I need to include string. But I do it anyways because it's a habit. A bad one, so don't do it, but I do it anyways. So, um, actually, I don't really know what's a bit. I don't know. So, include IO string, include CST, CSTD lib. You need that for system. Include string, you need that if you want to use a string. And yeah, so using namespace std int main open curly bracket system um, parenthesis, what is that? Quotation echo hello to dev slash null to to dev slash null what dev slash what slash dev slash null is is it's a um it's not really a directory per se but what it does is whatever gets sent there it like disappears it's it's like it's kind of like the beating of a triangle or something i don't know you whenever you go in there you're, you're done for so if you send the command there it's not going to see no one's going to see what happened it's still going to execute the man but it's not going to it's going to output there which is like you can't see it's not going to out you're, it's not going to output basically so um it should say echo hello but we'll see what it does here so this is gonna um hide the command and the output i don't it usually doesn't show the command but it normally shows the output it doesn't show the command but it shows the output but it's this is gonna hide it so here we go y two three of course if you don't know how to to um compile one you should look back earlier into the series i think it's a, one of my first videos about C++, it should be at least, it should be in my first video. But yep, you just do. That's to run the pr the script that I already have compiled here. Nothing happens. Well, if we go back and look at it, it should echo hello, but it didn't because I directed it to dev slash null. So, um, that's a simple way of, that's, that's what you need to make a virus. I'm not going to show you how to make a virus, but if you know some some um, terminal command line things you should be able to figure it out easy um thanks for watching this is the end of the video <laughs> not like last not like last section of the video i just said but thanks for watching um i know i just hit 200 subscribers i think today or maybe yesterday and that is actually lit i was not expecting this for a very long time um i didn't even mention me hitting 100 subscribers i didn't even make a special on that but um i want to thank you know, for doing that, um, getting me up to, you know, 100 and now to 200. It was like 100 was just yesterday. Um, I will be doing a 300 subscriber special, a 420 subscriber special, you know, 420. A 500 subscriber special and a 1,000 subscriber special. Um, once I get to a K, I might do a face reveal or something. Honestly, it won't be that hard to find my face. Actually, I don't know. It might be. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to go back to my other videos in the series. You can see other things you can do in C++ and how to do them. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, sorry for rambling so much in this video, but hopefully I can change my YouTube name. will change YouTube channel. Hopefully I can change the name of my YouTube channel soon because it's um, been stuck like this for a while. But um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Yo, I just realized I like can't pronounce anything. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I couldn't pronounce anything in this video. My bad. But hopefully that didn't ruin the whole thing. All right, <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I'll, yeah, I'm just editing it right now, and I just listen to it, and I sound like not very intelligent. But you know, whatever. <laughs>